a rehabilitation program for patients with massive irreparable rotator cuff tears. Presented to you by the Stedman Clinic in Vail, Colorado, in cooperation with the University of Heidelberg. Dear patient, you presented to us with a massive irreparable rotator cuff tear. This can be a very painful and disabling condition, resulting in a tremendous reduction of lifestyle quality. Scientific background. Massive rotator cuff tears comprise up to 40% of all rotator cuff tears. It was demonstrated that patients with a massive rotator cuff tear can respond favorably to non-surgical treatment. It is recommended that non-surgical treatment should be attempted for at least six months prior to surgery. For patients with a medical history, non-surgical treatment should be considered as an alternative. With our massive rotator cuff tear MRCT program, we would like to provide you an alternative to surgical treatment or an alternative to delay surgical treatment. Please note, the effectiveness of our specific MRCT program is subject of current research. It was developed based on recent literature. However, there is a paucity of randomized controlled trials to compare different non-surgical treatment protocols. The primary goal is to strengthen the intact muscles of the shoulder girdle and to improve coordination and range of motion. Please talk to your orthopedic surgeon if you have any questions. Let's go get you back to motion. A home-based and professionally guided physiotherapy program. Recommendation for week 0 to 6. In week 0 to 6, we recommend that each patient undergoes an initial evaluation by a physical therapist to assess current status. We recommend two sessions of physiotherapy per week based on the MRCT program, so these sessions will be guided professionally. We further recommend three sessions of home-based training per week based on the MRCT program without a physical therapist. Recommendation for week 7 to 12. In week 7 to 12, we recommend four sessions of home-based training per week based on the MRCT program without a physical therapist. We further recommend to regularly follow up with the physical therapist in order for proper progression and modification of the MRCT program if needed. Recommendation for month 4 to 6. For month 4 to 6, the MRCT program can be continued on a regular basis. We recommend to keep following up with the physical therapist in order for proper progression and modification of the MRCT program if needed. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends different parameters based on goals regarding muscular endurance and strength. For gaining muscular endurance, 10 to 15 repetitions and 1 to 2 sets using relatively light loads is recommended. For gaining muscular strength, 8 to 12 repetitions and 1 to 3 sets are recommended. A guided gradual progression of resistance and or more repetitions per set and or increasing frequency is recommended based upon the individual's response to the prescribed exercise program. In the following video, repetitions and sets should be considered as recommendations as they are highly individual. Please talk to your doctor or physical therapist before you start. Let's go! Pain reduction The standing pendulum Bend your waist and sway your arm in a circle using your torso and not your shoulder muscles. This exercise intends to reduce pain and can be performed multiple times during the day. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Scapular stability with the hands on a bed. Keep your hands on a bed or use a standard table. Take a step back and bend your waist. Now gently push in and push out your shoulder blades. While pushing in, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. With the hands on a wall. Keep your hands on the wall. Take a step back and lean slightly forward. Now gently push in and push out your shoulder blades. While pushing in, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. In a quadruped position. Get into a quadruped position. The distance between your hands can be orientated on the width of your shoulders. Now 
Gently push in and push out your shoulder blades. While pushing in, squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can start with 10 repetitions in two sets. Anterior delta muscle activation. Active assisted forward elevation. Lie on your back with a pillow placed under your head. Now raise your involved arm up to 90 degree vertical while assisting with your other arm. You can start with 10 repetitions in two sets. Bench press supine. Lie on your back with a pillow placed under your head. Raise your involved arm towards the ceiling. You can start with 10 repetitions in two sets. Bench press inclined. Lie on your back and use a bolster or big pillow to raise your torso up. Raise your involved arm towards the ceiling. You can start with 10 repetitions in two sets. Military press modified. Sit on a bed or a chair and raise your involved arm above your head with the assistance of your other arm. Try to concentrate on your movements. You don't need to go all the way up. You can increase the level of difficulty by raising up the arm without assistance or in the next step by using small weights like an apple or a can of soup. You can start with 10 repetitions and two sets for each level of difficulty. Muscle coordination. Lie on your back with a pillow placed under your head. Raise your involved arm towards the ceiling and gently move it back and forward. You can increase the level of difficulty by using a bolster or a pillow to raise your torso up. You can start with 10 repetitions and two sets for each level of difficulty. Proprioception. Draw the alphabet. Lie on your back with the pillow placed under your head. Raise your involved arm up towards the ceiling. Draw as many letters of the alphabet as you can with your finger into the air. You can increase the level of difficulty by closing your eyes. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets for each level of difficulty. Isometrics External rotation Place a pillow between the inside of your upper arm and your torso. Place a second pillow between the back of your hand and the wall. Activate your muscles without moving your arm. Begin with 25% muscle force and progress to 100% muscle force. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Internal rotation. Place one pillow between the inside of your upper arm and your torso. Place a second pillow between your wrist and the wall. Now activate your muscles without moving your arm. Begin with 25% muscle force and progress to 100% of muscle force. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Flexion or punch. Place one pillow between the inside of your upper arm and your torso. Place a second pillow between your fist and the wall. Now activate your muscles without moving your arm. Begin with 25% of muscle force and progress to 100% muscle force. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Extension or row. Place one pillow between the inside of your upper arm and your torso. Place a second pillow between the back of your elbow and the wall. Activate your muscles without moving your arm. Begin with 25% of muscle force and progress to 100% of muscle force. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Abduction. Place one pillow between the inside of your upper arm and your torso. Place a second pillow between the outside of your forearm and the wall. Activate your muscles without moving your arm. Begin with 25% of muscle force and progress to 100% of muscle force. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Isolated rotator cuff exercises. Motion without delta muscle support. Take a seat on a chair and place your elbow up on the table. Make small movements with your forearm to the right side, back to the center and to the left side. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Strengthening exercises for the secondary stabilizers of the shoulder joint. Internal rotation with a rubber band. Find a stable position with your feet distance orientated on your hip width. Keep your elbow at 90 degrees. Perform a very slow internal rotation. Focus on the movements of your arm while remaining a steady position. Try not to pivot your upper body while moving the arm. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Forward punch. 
Find a stable position with your feet distance orientated on your hip width. Bend both elbows to 90 degrees and slowly push forward until your elbows become straight. Use your shoulder blades to reach more forward. Hold for one second and slowly move back into your start position. Focus on the movements of your arms while remaining in a steady position. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Row with a rubber band. Find a stable position with your feet distance orientated on your hip width. Hold both arms with the elbows straight. Now pull the cord back while squeezing your shoulder blades down and back. Hold for one second and slowly move back into your start position. Focus on the movements of your arm while remaining in a steady position. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Latissimus pull down with a rubber band. Find a stable position with your feet distance orientated on your hip width. Hold both arms with the elbows straight. Now pull the cord down to the side of your body with your elbows straight. Hold for one second and slowly move back into your start position. Focus on the movements of your arms while remaining in steady position. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Biceps curls with a rubber band. Find a stable position with your feet distance orientated on your hip width. Step up on the middle of the band. Now slowly bend your elbows and bring your hands towards your shoulders. Hold for one second and slowly move back into the start position. Focus on the movements of your arms while remaining in steady position. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Triceps extensions with a rubber band. Find a stable position with your feet distance orientated on your hip width. Bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Now slowly straighten your elbow against the resistance of the cord. Hold for one second and slowly move back into your start position. Focus on the movements of your arms while remaining in steady position. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Stretching to increase flexibility. The modified sleeper stretch. Lay down on your side. Bend your lower elbow to 90 degrees. Gently push against your wrist with the free hand aiming towards your feet. Place a towel under your elbow for increased stretch. Slowly count to 10. Now switch to your other side. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. The cross body stretch. Lay down on your back. Bend your elbow to 90 degrees. Pull your arm across your body and gently push down your elbow to increase the stretch. Avoid pain or pinch on the front of the shoulder. Slowly count to 10. You can start with 10 repetitions and 2 sets. Get well soon and thank you for your attention.